Uh, hello guys, today we will be discussing about glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, glycogenesis and glycogenolysis. So these are very confusing terms. So in my video I will be introducing you some tricks and tips how to remember this. So here I have given about glycolysis and gluconeogenesis, glycogenesis and glycogenolysis. The definition if you want to read it in depth you can just pause it and read about it. So my main focus about the video is to teach you how to remember this so first we'll start with glycolysis so what does glycolysis means here you need to focus on the word lysis what does lysis means lysis means to break down obviously lysis is a greek word which means to break down so we all know the meaning of lysis in school time we all study a lot about cell lysis um, uh, breakdown of the cell wall Lysis of the cell wall and also lysis means to break down. What trick you need to apply here is in the word glyco instead of u, uh, sorry, instead of y, you need to replace it with u. So glyco is to be replaced by u, gluco. Make it gluco because glycolysis means breakdown of glucose. So how are you going to remember this? Obviously, as to why so many things are so confusing, why am I not being able to catch this up? So you can remember this, all the whys in your life can be solved by a single person, that is you. So replace the why in your life with you. You are the solution to all the questions of your life. So in that way, just remember glyco as gluco. So the, it becomes glucolysis, glycolysis. And obviously glucolysis means glucose breakdown, breakdown of glucose. I will come to glycogenesis. Here what you need to understand is the term genesis. So obviously for people who are studying biochemistry for the first time, it will be very tough for them to understand the meaning of genesis. So how are you going to know the meaning of genesis? I'll tell you. So genesis means the beginning of something like formation. It means like uh, if you search in the dictionary, you will see that uh, to come into being. So we all know the... Holy Bible, right? It is the most read book in the world, the Holy Bible. So the first chapter of Bible consists of Genesis, where in the beginning God created the heaven and earth. So this is the first chapter, this is the beginning of the chapter. And this is uh, where they will explain about how the earth was formed, how God created heaven and earth. So obviously Genesis means formation or beginning. So you can also say glycoformation means replacing the word Genesis. So glycogenesis means formation of glycogen so now we'll uh, study about gluconeogenesis so here you need to focus on the word neo so neo sounds like new so here unlike the old and the boring dull thing something new is going to happen so genesis you already know it is formation so usually and generally we all know that glucose is formed like uh, glucose is formed from carbohydrate so whenever you take high amount of carbohydrate content diet, there will be release of glucose. So we all, this is a very common fact. But here in gluconeogenesis, something new is going to happen. So uh, here instead of glucose being formed from carbohydrate sources, it will be formed from some other known carbohydrate, source, carbohydrate sources like proteins, glycerol, lactate, etc. So the trick is just something new is happening in place of neo, new. So glycogenolysis. How are you going to remember this? Glycogen, we all know what is glycogen. It is glycogen is the storage form of glucose, if you do not know. So in plants, what happens? Cellulose is the storage form of glucose in plants. In animals and human beings, glycogen is the storage form of glucose which is stored in the liver. And whenever you require energy or whenever you're walking, running, any kind of things which you need, any kind of things which require energy, sorry. So what will happen here the glycogen will release and then they will release the, they will be breakdown of the glucose and then you can uh, feel the breakdown of the glucose in the muscles so this is just simply we can say glycogen plus lysis is breakdown of glucose so this is what we've been discussing today and thank you guys for watching my video and if you like my video please do like subscribe comment and please do share thank you